An important component of the Bosch CDR tool is the software you install and activate on your computer. Installing and activating the software takes just a few minutes. In this video, we'll go over computer system requirements needed to run the CDR software program, the CDR software activation certificate, how to download and install the CDR software program, how to activate the software using the activation certificate, we'll go over CDR software patches, and finally, we'll discuss how to download and install the USB to serial software driver. The CDR software must be installed on a computer with a Windows-based operating system. The CDR software is not compatible with Mac operating systems, and it's not compatible with Chrome operating systems found on Chromebooks or similar devices. Your PC will need to have two USB ports. The CDR software program is pretty basic. A minimum 1 GHz processor and 256 megs of RAM is required to operate the software. Whenever you purchase a new software subscription or a new version is released within your subscription period, you will receive an email with installation instructions and a software activation certificate in the form of an attachment. The email contains some important information. First, the email is sent from Bosch Licenses at us.bosch.com, not from Crash Data Group. As a Bosch distributor, Crash Data Group has limited access to the Bosch Software License Management System. Crash Data Group triggers the Bosch system to send an activation certificate upon purchase. It's recommended that you whitelist or make Bosch Licenses a safe sender in your email system. Your Bosch user ID and the company or agency name that the license was issued to are located at the bottom of the email in small print. The number of subscriptions and your current expiration date are indicated here. Installation instructions and links to download the current version of the CDR software are contained in the body of the email. Save the activation certificate attachment to a thumb drive or directly to a folder on your computer you are going to install the software on. Copy paste, save as, etc. You will need to browse to the location you saved the file later on to activate the software. Do not double click on or attempt to open the activation certificate file or the file will become corrupted. Click on the software download link contained in the email or visit the CDR software release page on Bosch's website, boschcdrtool.com. Once on the current CDR software release page, click on the CDR setup.zip link under software release to start downloading the CDR software program. The download status will appear on your computer. This may appear different depending on the web browser you're using. When the download is complete, open or run the downloaded file. A window will open with the CDR setup file. Select the file and click on Open. Wait just a moment for the Bosch CDR software setup wizard to open. Select Next to continue. You must accept the license agreement to proceed. Read the license agreement, click on I agree, and then click Next. Continue to read the information provided and click Next. An additional Tasks window will appear allowing you to customize CDR taskbar and shortcut functions. Select any features you wish and then select Next. The Ready to Install window will now appear indicating the program file location and selected options. Click on Install to continue. The status of the install will be indicated with a progress bar. You may see a notice indicating that a CDR device firmware update is required for the version of software you're installing. Click on the Close this window to complete CDR installation button. A reminder to view the What's new in this version section of the help file will appear. Select Next to continue. Once the install is complete, select Finish. You'll be prompted to install the USB to serial software driver. This driver must be installed on your computer to use the USB to serial cable with the CAN Plus interface module. We'll go over how to download and install the driver in just a minute. Close all of the open windows and return to your desktop. A CDR icon and a VCI manager icon have been placed on your desktop. The CDR icon is used to launch the CDR software program. The VCI manager icon opens the VCI manager, which is used to set up and program the CDR 900. The CDR software was installed as the file reader only option. You will need to activate the software with the corresponding activation certificate to unlock the full function capability of the software. Open the CDR software program. 
the version of CDR software installed on your computer is indicated here. Click on the Activate icon on the toolbar. Browse to where you saved the activation certificate file on your computer. Double-click on or open the activation certificate file. Several windows will open regarding the end user license agreement. Read the license agreement and click on Agree or Accept as applicable and click Continue in each window. The Activate icon will disappear, indicating your CDR software is activated. The company or agency name the software is licensed to is now indicated in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can deactivate the software on your computer if you need to transfer the license to another computer. To deactivate the software, click on the Setup drop-down menu and click on Deactivate CDR. The Activate icon will reappear on the toolbar, indicating that the software on this computer is no longer activated. To reactivate the software on this computer, click on the Activate icon and follow the instructions as previously discussed. Occasionally, Bosch releases software patches in between full version releases. A software patch typically includes minor revisions to the software or added vehicle coverage. Active CDR software subscription holders will receive an email directly from Bosch if and when a software patch is released. A software patch can be identified by a version number containing two decimal points, 19.3.1 for example. The base version contains one decimal point, 19.3 for example. You must have the full base version installed before you can install a software patch. For example, 19.3 is the base version and must be installed before you can install the 19.3.1 software patch. Bosch does not issue a new activation certificate for software patches. The base version activation certificate will activate a corresponding software patch. The procedure to install a software patch is the same as installing a full version of the software. Download the patch.zip file from Bosch's website, unzip the file, run the setup.exe file, and follow the installation instructions. As mentioned earlier, you'll need to install the USB to serial software driver on your computer. This driver is needed for your computer to use the USB to serial cable with the CAN Plus interface module. The driver only needs to be installed once, so if you've previously installed it with a prior version of the software, there is no need to reinstall it. Do not have the USB to serial cable plugged into your computer during the software driver installation process. To download the driver, go to Bosch's website at boschcdrtool.com. Go to the current CDR software release page. Click on the CDR USB Serial Driver Installer zip file. The download status will appear on your computer. This may appear different depending on the web browser you're using. When the download is complete, open or run the downloaded file. A window will open with the USB Serial Driver Installer file. Select the file and click on Open. An install wizard will open. Select Next to continue. Once the install is complete, select Finish. The USB to serial software driver is now installed on your computer. And that's how to install and activate your Bosch CDR software.